Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a measure which will help you some values if a column contains certain text, right? We all know how to create a filter which is like equals to, let's say for example, if I need the sales amount for Netherlands, we know we can do is equals to and get the value for Netherlands. But if you want to do, let's say contains, right? For example, you just need to know all the countries uh, which have MON in their names, right? So let's get started with this particular tutorial. I'm just going to go here, click on this ellipse and click on new measure. And over here, let's name this and call this uh, contains MON, okay? And is equals to, I'm going to begin with writing calculate and then I'm going to say uh, sum of uh, units sold, close the bracket, comma. I'm going to say filter, open bracket and then select the table that we want to filter okay and then comma I'm, go I'm going to use the function called contains string okay and within text it's asking me to enter the field where i want where we want to look this up so that is going to be the country uh, field over here and then comma find text what is it that we want to look we want to look for mon right and then i'm going to close the quotes close bracket once, close bracket twice, and close bracket three times, right? And then press enter. So once you press enter, you will see a new measure column that has been created over here. Let's change this to a, a card, right? So it says that it is uh, five million. Let's add some decimal, decimal values. Okay, now to verify if this these values are correct, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here on this visual and then contains MON, right? And then click on apply filter. So you will see that the numbers are matching. It is 5.23 million, which is exactly matching with the numbers that we have here, right? So this is how you uh, create a contain string filter. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. You have learned something new. I make uh, tutorials on Power BI daily on my channel. Please do check them out. There are cool tutorials on my channel. And also uh, consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.